practices, they do not like to get in the pool. They always come out being cold. Big bushies about it. But um, <laughs> one swimmer, he, he tell him to start a warm up, and he's always hops right in the pool. And, like no complaints. Well, maybe a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> it's expected. Um, so he's always the first one in the pool. And then after practice, I can't. He's the biggest help. He always helps us. Uh, uh, sorry, um, carry the. Sorry, my words are messing up a little bit. Uh, he'll help us. Kickboards. Kickboards. Sorry, guys. Uh, he'll help us carry the kickboards back. And I, there have been plenty of times just him and I uh, doing lane lines together. Helps me hook up the lane lines. So Riley Harris gets the first in, last out award. So this summer at finals, when I go up for my relay, I, it was the method relay, and I, I got up behind the block, and I looked back, and I realized that we don't have a freestyler behind us. So, I, we, the relay starts, and the backstroker swims in. I look back, the freestyler's still not there. We di I dive in, so my breaststroke, look back, freestyler's freestyle still not there. Dylan starts swimming his fly, and then all of a sudden I look over, and I see this kid running all the way behind the blocks, and he jumps right up, gets his goggles on, dives straight in. So, no Mandel gets the hero award. <laughs> so, sad note, so the freestyler that was supposed to be there was sick, and we just didn't know, and you know, the team area was so far away, so Mr. McKinnon and I were running around Max, I sent him to the team area, he was running, and it was wet, he busted and cut his foot open, you're Aww. welcome, Kimball, <laughs> he like cut his foot open, he's running, I'm frantically looking, and I mean, our boys were seated second in that relay, and I'm like, and Colin is looking at me, he's on the blocks, and he's just like, oh my god, where's our kid, and I'm just like, I don't know, and Mr. McKinnon's running, and you can make last minute changes, and so Mr. McKinnon was like, what about him, and Nas looks at me and goes, wait, what, I'm just here for 50 freestyle, and I was just like, 25, 3, 3, 5, 3, 5, and he takes off sprinting, and Lauren is running behind him, like with the cap and with goggles, and she's like, forget the cap, just get out of the box, and he jumps up, and so it's, I think, the fastest 25 freestyle he's ever started in his entire life, and I mean, I just, like, it was awesome. They got, like, fourth or fifth place, I think, fourth place, and we couldn't have done it. I mean, we were looking at just disqualification, and all the people just being like, oh, good job, Sean Fields, you can't even get your fourth kid up here. So, I mean, that didn't do it justice. It was awesome. It was perfect timing, and um, epic, epic hero moment. So, thank you. Making us proud. <laughs> Talk about being flexible. Stepping up and taking one for the team. <laughs> all right, so... I don't think my adrenaline has ever been pumping that fast at a meet in my entire life. Like, it was frantic. Um, so I always refer to the boys in this age group lovingly as the Goon Squad because they are just ridiculous. They're always coming up with funny one-liners. They always have something to say. <laughs> you know, they, yeah, Jason got the Charmer Award and his little pickup lines and uh, last year. But they just keep us laughing. And sometimes, you know, as a coach and a figure of authority, we're not allowed to laugh, but they're really, really funny, and we can't tell them that. So we have to keep a straight face. But I just look at, like, Max and Colin, I'm like, the Goon Squad, they're out again. You know, whenever they walk in, it's going to be entertaining. So this year, I noticed that one of them in particular kind of took a leadership role of the Goon Squad. And um, even though he was a mess and hurt himself and couldn't swim in finals, I told him to sit in a padded room and not hurt himself, and he shows up with a cast on. I was like, really? Really? Three days before finals? But Jason gets the leader of the Goon Squad Award because he was always behind all the funny comments and the tricks. So. Chris Jones gets the powerhouse award. So this is, uh, 
this is another story from finals. I'm sitting in the uh, Clarker, at the Clarker course, just waiting for my event, and I'm looking forward, and this swimmer walks across, and all of a sudden, from across the Clarker course, this girl screams over, screams for me, and she said, and once she gets his attention, she says, "Oh, go follow me on Instagram." And she says his Instagram name, and he just looks back, and I see him. He doesn't. I don't think he knew what was happening. So Eli Carr got the chick magnet award. <laughs> is a member of the Goon Squad, and um, you've probably heard him throughout the banquet yeah, and screaming and being ridiculous, but it's always a great thing to have, especially on the pool deck when we're doing our cheers and getting everybody pumped up, and he really stepped up as a leader of the team, but especially in the spirit department, he brings a lot of energy, and a lot of kids really look up to him and um, pay attention to what he has to say and getting everybody excited. So Kimball gets the heart and soul of the Sunfish Award. Yeah! <laughs> So, last but definitely not least, this swimmer, even though, even though you guys know I'm the coach, this swimmer definitely helped, probably helped my stroke out more than I helped him. And he always has tips, he always is telling me tips for my swimming, and also, actually just yesterday, we were both at a swim meet, and I was really, really mad about something that happened because I didn't get something that I was supposed to. And he is behind the box with me and he gives me this speech. And it was really inspirational to me. I don't think he realized how much it meant to me when he said it. Um, and he told me not to worry about it. He told me that they're gonna, the coach is going to know, the coach is going to see that I deserved what the other swimmer got. So the coach and training and award goes to Dylan Pack. All right, boys, everybody stand together, smile. Look at Miss Ognick in the middle right there.